Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here today to do a throwback Thursday, a request from this patron right here. I am blood gone with you. All right. When I saw this popping up on Patreon, I admit I I'd never heard of the band. Uh, the name of the band was interesting because it's a sentence. Uh, gone with you sounds like something. Uh, sounds poetic. Yeah, sounds. I mean, sounds almost something like out of a typo negative song or something. You yeah. know, that's the first thing that I thought. I was like, I am. And the second thing that I thought, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the name of the band, I was like, is this an all chicks band? I know it's sexist. I know. It is. Before you start sending me the hate mail, think about it. How empowering would that be if an all girls band called themselves "I Am Blood"? Yeah. I mean, technically, we're all blood. I mean, yeah flesh and bones and blood right but anyways that was my second thought so then i went i was like nah that can't be it, it, it would be cool and i know it's sexist it's sexist for you to think of but it's it would empowering be cool if, if they if they if were they, actually yeah exactly which is kind of weird it, it, it's kind of a double standard i yeah. feel like it's it's bad if i say it but it's, it's cool if they, they do it. it yeah if they do it so anyways i went on metal encyclopedia to find out and it turns out the, this band is from helsinki and they're like a thrash metal band uh, I'm not sure if they're still together or doing music anymore. I think the last time they released an album was like, I don't know, 2012 or something like that. Oh, so it's like it's a long ago. That's why this is a throwback story. Maybe they're raising money for a sauna. And it's been, uh, you know, maybe it's a really didn't fancy time, sauna. Didn't Time 1 come out in 2012 too? Oh, I don't even I think know. so. Was it? Yeah. Because uh, the seasons came out when? Uh, two years ago? Three yeah. years? No, three. It's got to be. Th it's going to be three years this summer, I think. That one came out. And then time two, uh, time one, time two. Time two. two. Uh, time two, sorry. That's, uh, my, I, ki I, my kids will be listening. To I, I think two. we'll have hotels in Mars by the time time two comes yeah, out. Yeah. I, I mean, that's where it's going to no, be. I'm pretty sure time one came out in 2012 too. All right. Maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe these guys are raising money for a sauna. Who knows? Who knows? All right. So anyways, uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah. 
Can I go first? No. I hate the video. Love the song, hate the video. The video didn't give it as much credit as it deserved. The video, the video uh, I, I does not was, deserve the song. I, I knew, <laughs> I, I knew, I was, I knew this was a throwback Thursday, but I didn't know if it was gonna be the, the video was gonna be thrown back to like the beginning of of, of time of videos. <laughs> it was like a Buster Keaton video, uh, uh, poorly made, may I say. I mean, it was kind of funny when he got ran over, uh, hit by the bike. There was nothing funny about this video. The video to me does not give the song its justice. You almost might as well not even do a video, in my opinion. Because this song... I, I'm going to give you some. Th think about this. Down. Stone the Crow. That video. Yeah. Them playing in a bar. That was perfect. Perfect for that song. it was kind of like bar music. Exactly. This song kind of had that same kind of... It didn't have the sludge feel that that song does. I feel like if this, but it, it almost if this has video that, didn't have this... Uh, 1919 or 1920s kind of filter on it and it was just kind of normal like him sitting at the lake and walking around for more of the mm -hmm. mellow parts and then on the bike for the heavier parts i feel like it's still been it would have been okay but the whole 1920 kind of thing where it's like glitching out too yeah yeah didn't didn't do it for you didn't do it for me if it was normal the same video but normal no i i kind of no. i kind of would have liked it this video this is what this video needed the parts with the acoustic guitar, he's sitting in a rocking chair outside of the cottage looking at the lake, like, you know, just like freaking rocking the acoustic guitar. The parts that get heavier, they're like in a barn, like in a jam session in a barn, and they're just absolutely like, they're killing it. becomes Corpo uh, no, Yeah, but this is this is not a Corpo track. I no, mean, this but is, so just talking about like, the music video becomes Corpo I know, but what I'm saying is that you have to, this is my opinion, you have to find... This what is a, matches the song? Yeah, if you're going to do a video, the video has to, to bring the song to life. So you have to grab the essence that the song has it's like how you can't and do, then bring it to life. It's like you, you can't do a high-tempo like power metal song oh. in an uh, antichrist church. And no, it would be... Oh, well, you can if you're a power wolf. But, uh, what I'm, true, true. Okay, what I'm saying to you is it would be like Rod in Christ doing a cartoon video. Uh, oh, I don't like that. You, you would like... Okay, maybe that's a bad example. Mm. I'm trying to think of an example here. That would be funny. You I, think so? It's only f it's only okay if it's funny. This part... This video wasn't that funny. It only had like two two parts that actually kind of <sighs> made me smile. But well, we're spending that. more time talking about something that we didn't like than about the song itself. Cause I no, because really we like already the said the song was absolutely amazing. The song is amazing. I love... The, See, to the me, acoustic parts just... Add so much soul. Add so, they have, they have so much soul. Soul into it. and they add soul to the song. And they do, and then it just comes with that the heavy like um, the guitar. The solo was absolutely magnificent. Oh. The solo. This song to me, it's it, it has yeah, the vocals. The vocals are actually. I really, love the really vocals. Good. They kind of remind me a little bit, not not too much, but a little bit of like early Metallica vocals. Ooh, very interesting. I was thinking of Godsmack actually. No. I'm talking about smack. the way he actually like. Oh, the way he delivers. Yeah, for the. Interesting. For, for I didn't the, that. I didn't think about that. The song, in my opinion, has a little bit of a country vibe to it. Not only the parts that the acoustic comes in, but the even, overall, yeah. the soul of the song is this like southern, almost like uh, you know, southern Texas. The blue uh, necks, the blue necks in Finland. The blue necks or the red necks in the states. It has that 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 southern twang to it. That's why I went with. That's why at the beginning I mentioned. Uh, Stone the Crow by by Down because in that song is like the Louisiana Bayou they're in that in that yeah. bar and whatever it ha they were able to to give the song a video that that really Match brings to life the 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 mood that the song has the sound that the song has you know what I mean this song needed the same thing all, all you need is a cottage and the guys jamming like out inside the cottage like a broken down cottage and then like you're outside like with the acoustic or like or like he's something in, like or that. he's inside of his his house and he's looking at pictures. And it's like kind of the sad acoustic, and then the hard part is when he starts like smashing shit. Yeah, and throwing like bottles of vodka against the wall yeah, yeah, and whatever yeah. that gets more aggressive. And then he's like sitting on the floor, and then he gets even more aggressive. Then he takes out his sh pump shock. And okay, let's not go that far. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> to me, the, the video just it has to ha it has to have something that matches the overall mood of this. That's what I was getting. Is because to me, the video is trying to be funny. It's trying to be lighthearted. But yeah, the, the but song the itself song is not lighthearted. Is not and exactly the song has such a. Uh, a heavy uh, uh, mood to it. It has so much soul. Those acoustic moments, even, even so much soul. Moments aren't like heavy. 
the mood of them uh, are heavy. Are heavy. Agree. One hundred percent agree. It, with you. it makes sure it, it, it twists your emotions. So you can have a video that makes people chuckle because the song is not going to make you do that. So you shouldn't have a video that's kind of like the opposite of what the song is. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. The guitar solo is absolutely magnificent. Yeah. That guitar solo is calling for that camera angle that sits on your guitar, and you can see the hands playing on the guitar from from that you know coming down the neck of the guitar, yeah. and you can see the hand. The guitar solo was so beautiful. You had a, a, a view like that of the I guitar. I don't know how you do that with this. No, but the video would have to be completely different. The, to me, this video does not give the song justice. The song is like absolutely is beautiful. It's depressing. It has soul. It has that southern twang to it. I absolutely love the track. And then you watch the video, and you're like, "What the hell happened here?" Like the, it almost looks like this video was for a different song. Exactly. Like, the, you know, like this video could be for Jägermeister from Corpa Clanny, for example. Yeah. I would have been fine. You know or, what I mean? Or the, Steven, was Steven Seagulls? Yeah, Steven Seagulls. Like, yeah. perfect. Like, the, for that would have been fine. But for the song that has this kind of mood, this kind of atmosphere to it, uh, the, the beauty that the, the song video, has within itself. The video itself. has to have both um, a part where it's very mellow and it's very sad, and then a part of the video where it's very angry and... And destroying stuff because obviously you're angry. That's the more heavier part. It has to have that, but this video didn't have it. What was any of the band that we did that the that the girl goes outside when the father is drunk and then she gets run over by a car? Oh, that that was the band that's actually playing at. Uh, They're playing at Dark River Festival. Obviously, this year with I Wolfheart. By the way, the lead singer it's from en, it's En Olemita. En yeah, and and the the lead singer of that band, he's the lead singer in Dawn of Solace. Yeah. Right. That video was absolutely perfect. Perfect. It, it, it grabbed the mood that the song had, even though I don't understand the language, but you could yeah. feel the mood, you can feel the tension. Through the voice. The, through the voice, through the music, you can feel it. So it grabbed all the emotion that the song had and then gave it a visual format. So it's like you're listening to the song, but now you're visualizing exactly what you're listening to. Perfect. The, That's the, what the song deserves. And, and that part of the, the acoustic part was very... In the video, he was just sitting down on the couch. Then he starts drinking. That's when the yeah. heavy vocals come in. And... Then she gets hit by the car, and that's where more heavy vocals come in. I mean, it it is what it is. I mean, this is a throwback Thursday. This video is like, I don't I feel know, like eight it, years old. I feel like it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take uh, masterminds to. Maybe it does. It took the two of us to come. We're not masterminds, though. I think we are. I think you're underselling yourself. I think we're evil masterminds. I think we're I think we're video connoisseurs. <laughs> listen, we listen to enough music and watch enough videos that we I can I feel like uh, we know what we're doing. I feel like we know what we're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Even though we don't know what we're doing, I feel like we do. All right, on that note, I just really want to emphasize this. I absolutely love this song. Yeah. Beautiful track. I just don't think the video does it justice. Yeah. That's all. All right, guys, see you at the next video. Take care. See ya.